Hey YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video about Kydex uh, for folding knives. We see it a lot on fixed blades, this type of style, where uh, you'll either have this on belt carry or whatnot. And I thought, you know, why not for folding knives too? I have seen a few people make Kydex for folding knives. They're typically of this style, where uh, it encompasses the top half of your knife and you'll pull down on your belt to release it and then you'll open your knife. This is a Spyderco Stretch, one of the older versions, one of my first uh, knives, or high quality knives. I started with cheap Chinese knockoffs, but uh, basically I wanted a Kydex sheath for it, for belt carry, and this is what I came up with. Uh, this is one of my first attempts with Kydex. You can see um, it turned out alright. Making Kydex for folding knives is a good, uh, easy way to start off making Kydex without having too many failures. Just because you're not too afraid of uh, the Kydex scratching your blade or anything. But the main principle for Kydex that I've found is to have a point where your knife has a thicker part passed through a thinner part on the Kydex. So for this knife, that would be this area here. If you look, if you were to pull straight out, this thinner part of Kydex here where there's no handle and just a blade will prevent this fatter part of the handle from coming out, which makes you have to crank it out like that. Right, so that's why you kind of have to pull down on this to get it out. Uh, the first few Kydex uh, knives that I've pressed, and still press, is with just normal packing foam from maybe a package in UPS or uh, USPS or whatever you have. And just a piece of uh, wood, two pieces of wood, and I, I'll just step on it, and it'll actually form this quite nicely. Uh, the key part is to have this part here, and make sure that you have that narrow part. You can even see with fixed blades, you have that here where this handle comes out and down a little bit. This is the part that gives you your retention. And you, the tighter this is to your knife, and the, uh, the tighter this is to your knife is the better retention that you have. If you want less retention, you can heat this up and loosen it up. So less Kydex has to move apart to let your knife out. I don't know if I showed that before, I've taken this video a few times, but you can see how the Kydex moves apart right here. So if you look right here, you're pulling the knife out, it has to move apart to let this thicker part of the handle come out. A uh, mistake I first made is I put the rivet here, and this actually prevented the knife from coming out, because if you look, if you go to pull out, this part of the knife has to clear the rivet, and if the rivet's blocking your blade, there's no flex in that. The kydex is supposed to provide the flex, not your rivets. So I have a few more of the same style. This is for uh, Spyderco Resilience. Spyderco knives are really easy to make it for because they usually have a finger toil. But uh, another one that I had a little bit of a hard time with was a ballast hole. Because you see how the handles are straight. There's no really hook point in this dimension. But uh, for this bally, my hook points are these uh, slits right here that go into it. So you can see this too has a nice click. That's when the Kydex clip finally closes in on these grooves right here. You can see on both sides. And due to the nature of this belly, either side can fit in. Also for some knives, they're not nicely beveled. Like you can see this is a pretty flat 90 degrees here. So sometimes you'll have to bevel your kydex. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm not looking through the viewfinder, but I've actually beveled the inside of this kydex kind of as a ramp to feed the knife into the kydex. So that may be something else you have to do. You could do that with a small file or sandpaper wrapped around a small thin flat piece of wood. This was back before I had tech locks and all the fancy clips so I just used paracord and this lashed to my belt. So yeah, usually people won't make one for a ballet just because most places don't allow you to carry a ballet song. A ballet song. Another one I see some people struggle with is for a Leatherman. You see how it's completely flush in the side. There's not much for a hook point. Uh, each Leatherman, of course, is a bit different. This is one of my original Leathermans that I got when I was a kid. Um, I, this is actually my first knife. Even though it's a multi-tool, it's the first uh, sharp implement I had. I got this back when I was about 10 years old. And you can see that this too has a click. But the hook point for this, ironically, is right up here. There's this one point right here that has a little uh, lanyard loop. And that will be actually what clips it in. You can see it here that there's no clipping 
until that reaches all the way to the top and then right there it'll clip in and that's uh, and uh, to make this sheath first you form it normally and everything and then sometimes you'll get a little bit of retention and it'll be a little bit loose but to tighten that up all you have to do is heat this portion and you just press it in with a gloved hand or maybe a paper a towel not a paper towel just a normal towel just press it in while it's hot and it'll mold to that so yeah yeah, I've always had a problem with the stock Leatherman sheets just because it's Velcro and you have to unvelcro it, then pull it out when you could just have a single motion just pulling your Leatherman out. Of course, you, if you uh, want to make a lock for your Leatherman in an open position, it's a bit easier because you have these portions here that you can press the Kydex into. Uh, of course, it's not going to go in like that. But yeah, so this one, it doesn't matter whether you're inserting it this way or this way, just because these faces are different. This one did not need any beveling here, just due to the nature of it. And this is my claim to fame. Uh, this is a Kydex I've made for uh, Endura ZDP. I love ZDP, by the way. It's real hard to steal. But, so, this, my thought process behind this is that if I'm wearing this on my belt as such, I have to pull down, right? So if you're holding like this, pull down, and you have to change grips to then open it. But what I want to do is I want to have less motion. I'm lazy, so I say why not hold your knife and just pull it out like that, and you're already in the grip for it. So let me show that to you one more time without my hand in the way so if it's on my belt like this I'll come up over it pull it out and then I'll have my knife so it's one last step also putting it back in uh, you're not looking for something like this this is pointed towards the ground ground down so sometimes you're feeling for it you can't find it you get it in with enough practice it's second nature but just in the beginning uh, if you're just holding it like this yeah, I mean, you're looking down at it, you can see where your knife goes, you put in the hole, and just clips in. And the retention is pretty darn good for something like this, too. So this is, uh, this could either be scout carry uh, by putting the belt in this way, or horizontal carry by putting in the belt this way. Again, I didn't have tech locks back then, so I kind of made do with what I had. Just paracord and the line holder. And yeah, these are all Kydex I made way before I started making knives. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Here's a quick view of them. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them. Thanks for watching.